And now we're back on PhotoP. So in PhotoP, I'd like you to choose New Project. So you're going to click New Project, and you get this window, and there's a whole bunch of fancy templates, which we're not going to use. But in the top left-hand corner, it says New Project, and I'd like you to rename that as Text My Name. Text My Name. And then before you click Create, I'd like you to click this square where it says FB Event Image. You're going to click that, and that'll set up the size of the piece of paper we're going to be uh, writing on, and then click Create. And when you do, you get this big white rectangular piece of digital paper that we're going to write on. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, change the color uh, or the pattern of your background. This is laid out on the right hand side is your layers panel. At the bottom of the layers panel, there's a whole bunch of little itty bitty icons in the bottom right hand corner. You're going to want to choose this circle that's half filled in. Um, and you click it, and that's called an adjustment layer. At the very top, there are three choices, and I'd like you to go through all of them and play with them. Color fill um, will pull up the color picker, and then you can click inside of it, and you can uh, move your mouse up and down the rainbow on the side to choose different colors. And then if you want, you can move the circle uh, in the middle, and it will preview the color for you over here. And when you find the color you would like, you click OK, and it colors your background. All right. Now, you'll notice on the right-hand side, you've got two layers, uh, background and color fill. If you don't like what you've just chosen, you're going to click and hold the color fill layer, and you're going to drag it all the way to the bottom to the trash can and throw it away. And now you'll click that circle again and go back to color fill if you want to pick a different color or you can go to gradient fill and you can play around with that uh, it shows on the left from black all the way to white uh, but next to where it says gradient there's a little upside down triangle if you click that there are some pre-created color patterns and you can click one and it will apply it And then you can click the menu itself. And if you want to play with these three sliders to adjust that type of color, that's fine. Um, you can even go to the style and you can choose radial and it makes it a circle. Uh, it'll put it on an angle for you. Um, shows a reflection. Uh, diamond pattern shows a diamond. Find the one you like and you go with it. You can also change the angle and by turning this uh, radius around the circle, and it will change the way that's laid down. Uh, if you want to change the color and play with a different one, go ahead and change it. Once you find the one, ugh, I don't like that one, but um, once you find the one that you like, you're good to go. Um, what I would suggest is collapsing this uh, pop-out menu, and you have to do it by clicking these teeny tiny little back and forth arrows and once you do, it does this, and then you click it again, and it goes away. All right. If you don't like gradient fill, click and hold it and drag it to the trash can. We're going to click it one more time to go through the pattern fill. Uh, it will apply this pattern. If you want to choose other patterns, you can, but you don't have much choice. You just click this uh, square with the pattern in it, um, <clears throat> and you can click through your choices uh, to see what you've got. Um, again, there's not a huge amount, but you can play with the angle uh, of these uh, however you wish. And you get to uh, set them on, on different angles. All right. Scale, you can make them from super teeny to super big. Um, you know, we'll go with this one, which is kind of fun. That's up to you. So once you've got that the way you want it, I'm going to go with that one. I'm going to collapse this menu with a little itty bitty arrow.